Click on this with your hosts, Crystal Milana and Sabrina Taylor Smith, and produced by Capri Productions. Yeah, so yeah, I'll take that tab. Make sure that he doesn't pay for it. What's up, guys? This is Johnny Alonzo for Click on This. And let me tell you something. We're in one of the coolest places that's just opening up in Baltimore, and I'm going to introduce you to uh, probably one of the biggest names in Baltimore. Can I say this? Uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm going to pass the mic. Please uh, introduce yourself to the crowd and tell us who you are and uh, what you're doing here. And uh, just give us a TV Guide version of what's going on here at Villegas. Yes, my name is Terry Kaufman. I'm with Villegas Italian Seafood Restaurant at 110 Water Street. Used to be Little Italy for years and years, yeah. since 1937. But nowadays we're over here and we're excited about being here. Absolutely. Well, I remember the old spot because if you remember with my family, we used to have a place next door to you. And I'm telling you, I mean, this, this place, the atmosphere, the color, the vibe of this place is absolutely gorgeous. And I want to commend you and, and thank you for having us, uh, having the show here today. Okay, great. Yeah, we're, we're fortunate to have this venue here. Yeah. We're lo located again down on Water Street. Right. Used to be a warehouse, got a lo lot of exposed brick, exposed stone, yeah. high ceilings. It's just gorgeous. A lot of oak. We love the warm feeling. Well, absolutely, because I mean, in Los Angeles, <clears throat> you know, where we shoot at, and, and you know, we have a lot of uh, production, uh, you know, locations. To find this cobblestone and to find like the exposed brick and the hardwood floors, you can't find. Everything's chrome and glass in L.A. So half the reason that we, you know, we love shooting in Baltimore and you know, in on the East Coast is that it, it has that old world feel. Now, getting to old world, I remember the old restaurant and I remember the old menu. Can you tell us a little bit about you know the food and uh, what you're serving here and what your specialties are and uh, who's you know who's your chef? Yep, we're running the same menu. Basically, we ran a little early. Miss Betty has been back there starting in January. Yeah. She'd be crossing five decades cooking Vallejo's food. I remember. The calamari's always been my favorite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're featuring seafood and Italian. Yeah. Good. And uh, we are do the Rat Pack theme in the upstairs, and we're going to do the jazz, waterfront jazz supper club downstairs. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, we were just, uh, we were talking about that earlier. This jazz thing that you're doing, I mean, it's kind of, it's an old concept, obviously. It's old world style. But, I mean, I also know for, for you know, what we're doing today, modern day, it's a new thing. Now, let's just tap into that quickly. Are you going to be one of the few jazz venues in Baltimore? Because I, don't, I, don't, I, I personally don't know of any. Nope, we're going to be it. So uh, everybody says they want it. And I, for, for years I've been sitting, you know, tried to get an entertainment license in Little Italy to do it. Couldn't do it. We're doing uh, Dean Mark, Jerry Lewis acts upstairs with Sinatra, nice. the whole Rat Pack theme. Nice. And we'll be up and down with the Sinatra R&B upstairs, jazz downstairs, and it's just on a, it's on a flow right into the community, right from all the, we're focusing, we're right here in the middle of the hotel district, business district, the lunch crowd is awesome. Yeah. I mean, it's just a, a full-term venue. Well, I, th I think it is. I mean, if you can describe to the audience, I mean, everybody knows about the Baltimore Harbor. I mean, you're, you're pretty close in, in proximity, correct? More a block and a half from the harbor. Yeah, so, you know, anybody that knows where the harbor is, you have no excuse to not come to Terry's place. So, beyond the jazz, beyond the food, tell me a little bit about, you know, the feel of this place. Why, you know, how did you get it to be so elegant? I mean, you, you have an upper-class crowd, which is kind of different from uh, the usual bar scene. I mean, is that, is that what you're striving for? Are you looking for more of a, a jacket kind of look here? Well, we're looking for business casual today. I mean, the old white tablecloth, everybody says, you know, put on some white tablecloths, but we've had people walk in and look around, and if you have white tablecloths, they turn around and say, we'll come back when we're dressed. <laughs> but in reality, we're a business casual world today. Good. The white tablecloth has kind of gone away, yeah. and, you know, the $400 dinners are out the door. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't happen anymore. So, I mean, basically, I mean, you are definitely covering um, – a different demographic. I mean, an old, another gamut, you know, compared to like the old scene that we used to have. You know, even just a couple of years ago, correct? When it comes to like trying to get in more, you know, uh, people in the seats. Exactly. Yeah, good. Exactly. Good. And what we're featuring here is a great lunch venue, a great lunch menu, a great happy hour, good. nighttime entertainment, and some great dinner ambiance. So, so what are the hours? I mean, I didn't even know you had lunch. I mean, what are, what are your days that you're open? I mean, when are you open, and uh, how late do you go till? We're open every day at 11 o'clock a.m. and we open straight. Th we're open straight through till two o'clock on the weekends and usually 12 o'clock during the week. Very good, very good. So I mean, the last thing before I let you rock, I mean, how's your wine? You know, your wine selection. Everybody always seems to ask that whenever we uh, do interviews in restaurants. I mean, do you have a, a nice, you know, uh, you know, I guess choice of wine here? Absolutely. We we run from twenty-six dollar bottle to. $250 bottle, pick your poison. See, that's Italian. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, before I let you rock, man, one more thing. So 
when I mean, you guys are open now. I mean, do you have like any big special like events happening beyond the jazz? And you know, I mean, like New Year's. You have a big New Year's Eve party. I mean, what, what's the story? Oh yeah, we got a big New Year's act coming out, and yeah. we're gonna be rock, rocking and rolling here on. Uh, doing mostly the Sinatra scene on New Year's. Good. Well, I mean, that's the classics, man. I mean, you're, you're always going to have people that love that stuff. I mean, back in New York, of course, where I'm from originally, we have supper clubs, you know, and I think that this feeling, it's got such a nice warm tone and it's very family oriented. You've always been able to carry that, and I mean, we admire that. So, my, my, my question to you, and this is my last question when it comes to being you with Valegias, I mean, you're in the win, obviously. How do you feel with being in this, this hotel district? I mean, do you think it's going to work out to the point where we can be top dog? We've been here seven months now, and it's just in the groove. I mean, it's just perfect for us. It is. It's just really so convenient for the locals and so convenient for the business folks. Good. So, I mean, rain, shine, and nothing bothers you here. People are still coming in, right? Absolutely. One more time. What's your, uh, what's your website? We're valegesitaliano.com. We do lunch, we do happy hour, we do dinner, we do live entertainment, yeah. we do deliveries, and we do catering. Really? Are you guys, uh, I remember you were talking about gelato the last time for dessert. You're still doing that? We do gelato. We do tiramisu. We do cannolis. You know, man, you're bringing me back to the old school. This is fantastic. Guys, this is Johnny Alonzo. I'm here with Terry from Bellegias. Anything else you want to say before we clock out? Let's look forward to 2010 and get America back on its worst uh, main ground and it needs to be. Absolutely. Paisan, thank you so much. Guys, it's Johnny Alonzo for Click on This, signing out.